What up guys, uh, this is Travis. Welcome to your 34th tutorial. And today we're going to get into some animation. Uh, something simple. Uh, we're going to extend the view class, uh, which probably means nothing to you at the moment. But uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to set up a, a, a new activity where the whole background is blue. And we're just going to send an... Um, I'm going to use that cloud that I used in the last tutorial. It's just going to be a cloud image that scrolls across the screen. Once it hits the end, it's going to drop down a little bit and then just scroll across the screen again. Um, I didn't, I didn't uh, finish it and run it for you, but I was just showing you what our activity is going to do. And you should have set that custom button to open up a new activity, and I called it Tutorial 5. So uh, basically open that up, and this is something that you're familiar with. But when we're dealing with animation, dealing with animation, it's going to be pretty different than what we've been doing so far. Um, it might be confusing at first, but the more and more we use it, it, you guys will, you know, understand it quite well. Just like the button, the button was probably pretty confusing, but right now you're probably teaching all your friends how to do it because they don't really understand what's going on. Um, and also, we're going to use utilize some of the power of Java and kind of get you guys, you know understanding Java a little bit. Um, I'm not going to explain too much. If it confuses you, just let me know and I'll, I'll make another tutorial of breaking down what we did. But uh, we're going to kind of use utilize some of that power of Java and you guys will kind of understand the concepts of what we have been doing already. Um, basically, basically, I want you to open that, up that tutorial 5 Java and right under the activity um, we're going to set up a new variable and it's going to be from the Corn Boys class. We're going to call it Sweet BK for background. And th as you know, this is a variable that we can use within this whole activity. So uh, right now it's saying, hey, I know you want to create a variable of some object of the Corn Boys class, but we have no idea what that is. So that's fine. That's the, that's the power of Java I was talking about. We're going to hit create new corn boys class. And this basically tells us where we want to create that corn boys class. I just said, uh, yeah, create it in the same place as this package. So here's our corn boys Java. And what we're going to do is we're going to set this variable um, to equal uh, the set content view. Like I said, um, basically the corn boys Java is going to be view. And then we're going to use the Corn Boys view for a set content view um, for animation. So we're going to say sweet BK um, as our set content view. Let's give us all sorts of error because errors because it's like, yo, don't know what that is. That's fine. Um, so now we're going to go into the Corn Boys, uh, the Corn Boys job right here. And what we're going to do is, like I said, it's going to be um, from the view class, instead of saying extends activity, we're going to say extends view, and then we're going to import the view class, and it's going to give us an error, and it's going to say, hey, you need to add a constructor. Um, so we're going to add this constructor, and we're just going to name this context to for tutorial and five, just to get you guys. Just kind of break it down, show you what it means. And then what we need to do is say, okay, yeah, we have a, a new view, but we want this sweet BK to equal a new corn boys object. And we're going to pass in this for the parameters. So basically what we're doing now is we're passing in the context of tutorial five into the corn boys Java. So it's like this, so then it's like passing over into this Corn Boys Java, and basically this is the context that it's receiving, and this is what we want to do with that context within this uh, constructor right here. So, um, and just to let you know, we're pretty much done with our Tutorial 5 Java. That's all we need to do, basically. Um, we're pretty much done, and now we have to create that view in our Corn Boys Java. So we're going to go into that, and this might be kind of confusing, but uh, like I said, you'll get familiar with it. And I might create another, another tutorial just breaking down everything that we did. So first, um, what we want to do is we want to set up um, 
basically a bitmap that like uh, that cloud that cloud bitmap so it's going to come from the bitmap cl class and I'm going to call it cloud just so you guys aren't uh, confused here I'm just going to hit import cloud and now within this uh, constructor we're going to say uh, cloud what cloud equals so we're going to say cloud equals and then we're going to just set up um, basically the bitmap that we want so I'm going to say we've kind of done this before I believe so it's going to be from the bitmap factory we're just going to hit dot um, decode resource and uh, sorry I'm getting that cold back again for some reason and we're going to use the get resource method and then the ID which is r dot drawable dot cloud one I believe if it's not the right cloud that's fine but basically now we have identifier for our cloud variable um, and then we're going to go under this constructor and we're going to right click and see the options of the view class just like we would with the acti when we extend the activity um, this isn't extending activity it's extending view so we're going to go right click and go to source and override un um, or implemented methods and as you can see there's a ton of methods that we can use uh, from the view class but what we need is something like an on create but we're going to use a canvas because we're doing animation and basically the canvas is going to be a draw on draw this is basically like on create uh, when you're working with anim animations so we're going to have an on draw and it's going to draw a canvas so now we basically have to set up that canvas and what we want on the canvas uh, just think of it as you know a canvas and then we have to repaint it every second and we repaint the object in a different place each second so it looks like animation but we have to define what we want on the canvas and what the canvas background is and all that great stuff so basically first we're going to set up that rectangular uh, that I was talking about and then we're going to paint it blue and then we're going to add that rectangle to the canvas so that's what we're going to be doing now I'm just going to say set um, background I should have to type any notes to save some time but it's going to be from the rec rectangle class and this is just a uh, this is just uh, a Java code so, or a Java context so it'll know that you're talking about a rectangle here and we're just going to call this one um, C background or CBK alright it's going to equal um, well first we're going to import the rec um, so we imported that and then we're going to say uh, new rec so it's going to know it's going to be some kind of rectangle and now we need to set up what that variable um, is going to do or what it wants what it's going to be set up as what parameters we want all that great stuff so we're going to say cbk uh, dot set and this is going to be um, we're going to use this one because it's kind of easy to understand set and this is going to be the left top right and bottom of whatever we want um, basically we want to fill this whole screen that's available and up here is going to be the left top and bottom right so if we set those two points right it's going to be no left right bottom and you know all that good stuff so basically um, when you're using graphics it's going to start up here as zero zero up to however many pixels it is and then this is going to be zero zero um, then this is going to be like you know this is your y-axis it's going to go up as you go down sorry that probably didn't make much sense but obviously the left is going to be zero and the top is also going to be zero and what do we want for the right well we don't know how big the screen is going to be what phone we're running on so what we can do is we can take this canvas that is being passed in and we can see what's available so we want the full width so we're going to say canvas because that's what's being passed into this on draw and we can hit dot 
and then we can say get uh, get width. So basically, this is going to return how many pixels wide this canvas is. So that's going to be what our right is set up as. And then we need to do the bottom, so that's going to be like our height. So we're going to again say canvas or whatever this parameter is being passed in. We're going to say get height. So again, that's going to um, give us like zero up until however wide it is for left and right. And then for top, it's going to be zero to the bottom, which is however tall it is. So um, hopefully you guys understand that. That's not too bad.